childhood. We're going to look at early childhood, three to five years, and here middle and late childhood, six to 10 or 11 years. The body growth and change. Notice I still have the infancy. We saw this in the infancy, infancy slide. As your preschool child grows older, the percentage of increase in height and weight decreases each additional year. So by the end of their preschool years, most have lost their top heavy look. And at the age of eight, the girls and boys will weigh about 56 pounds. Now their muscle mass and strength gradually increases as baby fat decreases in middle and late childhood and leg length decrease in relation to body height. The brain. So during early childhood, the brain and head grow more rapidly than any part of the body. Now, although it's not growing as rapid as infancy, there are still changes between the age of the ages three to 15, and they are dramatic with distinct growth spurts. Um, you can see that myelation continues and symphonatic growth is also linked to substantial increases in memory and rapid learning. Sleep, experts are going to recommend 11 to 13 hours of sleep each night. Preschool children who get more sleep are more likely to have better peer acceptance, social skills, and vocabulary. More screen time is associated with a decrease in sleep time. More than 40% of children may experience a sleep problem at some point, and chronic sleep disorders can result in impaired brain development. Health, illness, and disease, much like infancy, when you're in that early childhood stage, it's harder for or children are more dependent on their caregiver. And then kind of later on, the habits that you form as a caregiver will bleed into late childhood ages and they're choosing better snacks or knowing how to be, prevent accidents. They become more cognitive. Malnutrition and poverty are something to definitely be aware of in these early childhood um, stages. In childhood, being overweight becomes a very serious health problem. More children are overweight in middle and late childhood than they are in early childhood. And think about that. Like I'd said on the flip side, when they're coming more into late childhood, they can make choices. And whether those choices are good or bad, if they're bad, that can lead to childhood obesity. And then consequences can increase um, risk of many medical and psychological problems going both ways with malnourishment or obesity. Exercise and childhood go hand in hand. We all think of children playing all the time. So it's very important that children need that daily exercise to support the development and coordination of those large muscles. And also children's brain and cognitive development benefit from regular exercise. Texas became one of the first states to do those physical assessment in school. I don't know if you'll remember that. 2007, it's 20, maybe, you might remember those. Substance abuse in childhood, um, again, this goes back to the parental use and maybe what's available or what's laying around and are they taking that by just not being watched or how does that come into play in childhood? Toward those later childhood years, depending on your environment, could also impact whether children um, partake in substance abuse. Here's a link and I, this is, a great article and I'd like for you to take a look at that from the slideshow. Childhood motor development. Young children enjoy simple movements for the sheer delight of just performing activities. Um, some examples might be hopping, jumping, running back and forth. Again, think of just children at this age, three to five years old, just kind of all over the place. And then it also gives them kind of a sense of pride and accomplishment. Children get older, their fine motor skills definitely improve. They begin to use their hands more successfully as tools. And then at age 10 to 12, children become to show manipulative skills um, similar to the ability of adults. Their perceptual development continues. It just moves forward right through infancy into childhood. They definitely become more um, increasingly efficient in detecting boundaries between three and four years of age. But by the first grade, most children can focus their eyes and sustain attention effectively to close objects. Here's our connect and reflect. Make your notes here and then make sure you have those available for your module two discussion. That's a wrap for module two and me. Now it's up to you to continue on with your Cornell notes, taking each stage of development piece by piece and putting those together so that you can refer back to them at the end of the semester for your final case study. 
Have a great day.